Hi everyone, welcome back to Game Dev Academy and in today's video we're going to take a look at the further development of iClone 8. I did this with the previous video Reillusion released about two months ago. It went down really well so I thought I would keep you up to date with the developments that they have put in their next video which shows, as you can see by the title on screen, iClone 8 work in progress. So I thought I would share that with you all today. Okay, so shall we take a look at it together? Yes, let's. Okay, so let's click uh, play. So here we go, that's what we start with. You can see they're making a big deal of it moving from my clone 7 to 8. And they're showing us in this video the Pro Motion Control System. So let's take a look at that. Uh, now this, I like the look of. So anyone can animate and they're talking about rotoscoping. Uh, and in this case, it's just taking reference video that they've created, you can see. And they're making one of their characters run. And this is brilliant. So getting uh, my students to use reference is painful at the best of times. But here you can see the benefits. And uh, are they going to play it back to show us how it works? Oh, they're... oh, wow. They're doing one click flipping and mirroring of the poses as well. So you've only got to do it one way and then you can flip it. Which is brilliant. What else are they doing? They're putting some curves on there. They're also um, offsetting the keys on certain body parts. So that you've got some more natural looking movements. Some kind of follow through and overlap. That was brilliant. Let's just take a look at the uh, the end result again. So after they've overlapped those keys of the different parts. Yeah, I really like that. So that's, that's a cool feature. That's got me sold already. Okay, now they're showing us this pose mixer. So you can take body parts and replace with new poses. So it's showing us that we can flip. That's pretty good. What else we got? We can add symmetry, so we can do it down all one side. Nice. And it's given us, obviously you can see, there's lots of different um, examples of poses you can create with this. So you can select a part. So I'm pretty sure that with um, iClone, when it says a part, we're talking arm, leg, etc. And so you can replace the pose uh, on the body part level, which is really cool. So for creating unique poses quickly, this appears to be really, really powerful. And you can see we can mirror the whole thing. We can put things together. Lots of different examples. Um, yeah, I think we get the point. And we can also see that you can alter animations. So you can also replace animations on the body part level when things are moving. So we, here you can see the change in what's happening on the hands. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we've got character centric timeline. So you've got part tracks, which means we can just do it for torso, head. So that gives you quite a basic level of animation, it would appear, which is really cool. And then you can move down and really drill into the bone level. So once you've got your body part doing what you want it to do, you can then go in and further refine that, which is a good way of layering up your animation to make it more detailed and more accurate as you go. So here you can see that we've got 14 tracks just to get the legs swinging. And they've added an offset to that. And then you can go down to the bone level. And here you can see that adding more offsets, making things a little more refined. Yeah, offsetting all kinds of stuff. And that, yeah, that just gives you that much smoother animation, the follow through, the overlapping action. You know, if you have a student of the 12 principles of animation, how easily this software lets you implement them is mind-blowing you can see back down to the bone level again so now we can also so this is fk motion which is your forward kinematics which is kind of animating at each bone which is great and it shows you can do that you can also do ik which is inverse kinematics which means that you can put your feet like on the ground uh, and um, then the other parts will animate around that to keep it in place it's a really powerful animation technique and this now appears to be showing us that we can switch from inverse kinematics to forward kinematics, there you go, there's your transition. So what you'd probably want to do is jump off that bench there, let's just stop that playing, jump off the bench, um, and then when the feet plant on the ground, you'd probably switch those to inverse kinematics so that then they won't go below the floor or slide around, and then you can have the other animation based on those being planted, which is pretty cool. Right, now we're moving on to facial tracks, which is, looks like the same thing, we've got a basic level, so major control is where we're starting. Uh, what we got so we're doing an eye blink I think oh no we're moving the eyes around and then we can go into the features this is like the bone level and you can see look at all that control so we've got brow 
Wowzers, that is a lot of detailed adjustment that you've got control over. Which, you know, we, we've come to expect um, from iClone. We know that that level of control is there. But being able to kind of, again, get your, your basic controls and then build up is brilliant. So we can see now we're up to the feature tracks, morph level. So you've got 63 plus tracks on standard. And then you can go to up to 150 animation tracks on the extender, which is a lot. I dare say that's like Pixar level amounts of control. I can't see that they're having many more um, options. Um, so I've missed a bit. Let's just go back. Right, let's just have a look at the uh, difference between these animations here. So they showed us that they're adding now more detail. And so you've got on the left is your basic level. And on your right is your morph level. And you can see things that overlap a lot more. You've got more control. It's beautiful. Right. Creating cartoon performances, it says. Pro level curve editing body and face so curves if you've done um, 3d animation before you know that curves are very powerful um, and you can see that so linear versus arc that heads going down and around which does make it look more cartoony you can also see that you can make the curves go past the point that it ends up at which gives you a little bit of follow through animation which can be really useful as well especially for cartoony performances that's where your 12 principles of animation come from um, from Kind of cartoon performances so we'd expect to see that so here you've got linear eyes and you can change that to step ties which generally our eyes do tend to flick around which is pretty good <laughs> you can just drag up on the the curves as well there to exaggerate things oh and here is our performance it definitely is exaggerated Beautiful. So there we go. Character centric timeline. Pose mixer. Anyone can animate with the video reference tricks. That is so powerful. Even if you're using any software, video reference is incredibly powerful. This just gives you an easy way to work with it. Um, creating cartoon performances. Really cool stuff. So let me know what you think about the software. I did give some licenses away in the previous video I, I did. I'm not sure whether or not I'm doing that on this one. Um, leave me a comment and let me know whether or not you're still interested in iClone 7 because that's all there is access to at the moment because if we just move on a little bit I'm pretty sure there we go it's coming soon it's not out yet it's going to be amazing when it is out and I can't wait to get my hands on it uh, hopefully I'll be able to create some beginner level tutorials for it to get people started I think that would be really useful anyway if you think you'd like this stick it in the comments let me know what you think looks good about it or what you think could be improved that's always useful as well uh, and hopefully you found this little overview of the new features useful. If you did, hit the thumbs up button, uh, leave a comment, make sure you subscribe to all the usual YouTube stuff, and I hope to see your beautiful face in a future video. Bye!